Hello viewers. Today we will discuss something about a metamorphic phases, particularly with respect to type of metamorphic phases, along with metamorphic phases series with related to plate tectonic. We have already discussed about the Barovian type of metamorphism, Buchan type of metamorphism, concept of metamorphic phases and phases classification. Particularly prior to start of metamorphic phases, I would like to mention one thing more that is the isograd. If suppose during Barovian type of metamorphism right from based on index minerals, the chloride zone, biotite zones particularly if suppose we will take for examples, the normally the biotite is absent in chloride zone while the chloride present along with biotite. If suppose we will join the two mineral assemblages, so there will be a line joining two assemblages, a demarcating line and that line is normally known as a isograde or isograde. Particularly at this line, the whole assemblages are normally present, that is the biotite as well as the chloride. And below this line, the biotite is normally absent, and above this line, biotite along with chloride is present. Now, let us take the concept and type of metamorphic phases, the type of metamorphic phases. If suppose you try to look on the diagrams as per based on pressure and temperature, particularly with reference to alumino silicate stipple point given by Holdway and Lee. Now look at on the screen and see the metamorphic phases, particularly the eight type of metamorphic phases, right from the gaolite phases, ampibolite phases. Epidotamphibolite phases, green cis phases with geolite, glaucophin lawsonite phases, and prehenite pumpelite phases. These are important phases, particularly as per the diagrams, the granulites, amphibolite phases, epidotamphibolite phases, eclogite phases, blue cis phases, green cis phases, prehenite pumpelite phases and geolite phases, easily we can recognize the temperature range as well as pressure range particularly for all these phases. Say for examples, the gaolite phases is normally 800 to 1000 degrees centigrade with respect to your pressure varies from nearly 8 to 9 kilobar pressure. If suppose these phases is normally based on pressure and temperature with respect to aluminosilicate triple point given by Holdway and Lee 1971. That is the reference line, particularly the triple point of aluminosilicates, because normally the kyanite and sylmanite is present in high grade metamorphic phases like gaolites, amphibolites and even in eclogites because kyanite with omphacite is a very important assemblage in eclogites. So these are the minerals particularly which also stable right from intermediate to high pressures zone. And the presence of endolocyte is indicate your low grade metamorphic phases like the geolite phases and thermal metamorphic phases along with the phases where the pressure is normally less and temperature is higher. Now let us see the assemblages wise the metamorphic phases particularly right from your geolite up to gaolites and see the important assemblages particularly. Now look at on the screen and see the table how the phases with assemblages vary. Geolite, an important 
मिनरल आप लॉमेंटाइट एनल साइन लॉसोनाइट प्रेहनाइट एक्सेट्रा प्रेहनाइट पंपेलाइट प्रेहनाइट पंपेलाइट इंपॉर्टेंट मिनरल्स ब्लू सिस्फेसिस ग्लॉकोफिन लॉसोनाइट इज ए इंपॉर्टेंट असम्बलेज इक्लोगाइट फेसिस गार्नेट एंड उम्फेसाइट ग्रीन सिस्फेसिस क्लोराइट एल्बाइट एपिडोट एपिडोट एम्फिबोलाइट फेसिस एपिडोट एम्फिबोलाइट फेसिस प्लेजोक्लेस हॉर्न ब्लैंड एपिडोट प्लस माइनस गार्नेट एम्फिबोलाइट फेसिस प्लेजोक्लेस हॉर्न ब्लैंड प्लस माइनस गार्नेट एंड गैमोलाइट फेसिस पायरोक्सिन क्लाइनो पायरोक्सिन प्लेजोक्लेस एंड हॉर्न ब्लैंड गार्नेट एक्सेट्रा इफ सपोज यूल कंपेयर दिस फेसिस पर्टिकुलरली द एसेंबलेस एज वेल एज फेसिस इजली वी कैन सी द इंपॉर्टेंट असेंबलेजेस पर्टिकुलरली with a reference to a faces now if suppose you will see and consider the important index minerals present like chlorite biotite elmandine garnet stolite kyanite and selenite particularly the chlorite biotite presence along with garnet is the indication of green sis faces similarly the stolite is indicated by amphibolite faces and stolite kyanite is also indicate the amphibolite faces and presence of pyroxenes is deciphered particularly for gamlite faces so on the basis of index minerals we can say the relation between type and metamorphic faces now let us consider particularly about the metamorphic phases series the concept of metamorphic phases series is mainly based on two three reasons particularly the barovian he was first map the dalinian cyst and recognize the index minerals normally based on increase of metamorphic grade particularly right from chlorite Barotite, elmandine garnet, stolite, kyanite, and selenite. Similarly, the myasiro also recognizes certain other type of metamorphic assemblages, which are slightly different from Barovian type. And now look at his observation. on the screen and see the difference particularly from the barovian type of metamorphism as well as the metamorphism observation given by myasiro 1961 myasiro in 1961 found the sequence of sequence of progressive mineral development were not the classic barovian type rather he found evidence for a high pressure type and a low pressure type of metamorphism to explain this he introduced the idea of metamorphic phases series or baric type myasiro in 1961 simply stated the metamorphic phases series is the sequence of metamorphic phases that are observed in a transect across a metamorphic belt the barovian sequence chlorite barotite garnet stolite kyanite selenite that is green cyst epidote amphibolite amphibolite and gaulite is one such phases series myasiro originally recognized three type of phases series now look at on the screen and see the diagram particularly for the phases with respect to pressure and temperature and classification given by myasiro in 1961 as per the diagrams myasiro originally recognized three different phases series first a zeolite prehanite pumpelite blue cyst eclogite type second a typical barovian sequence selenite paragenesis and third a abukama type of green cyst amphibolite gaulite correct tries by the paragenesis 
andalusite to selenite. A abukama type is named after the abukama region in Japan and similarly to the bukhen type of metamorphism from Darlardian because he recognized that these different phases series represented different PT contained as shown in figure. Myasiro called them baric type, first a high PT or glaucophin jadeite blue cyst eclogite phases, second intermediate pressure temperature or kyanite selenite and third a very low pressure temperature or selenite andalusite. For example, the Abukama area in Japan where normally the low pressure temperature phases are lit tectonic and metamorphic phases series. After the concept of metamorphic plate tectonic, the Maya Siroi in 1961, he has observed the different phases with respect to plate tectonic and found that geolite up to gaolite phases and eclogite phases, how the phases are found and related with your plate tectonic. Now let us see on the screen, particular the diagrams in relation to plate tectonic and faces and particularly we can observe and see the faces in order of increasing depth and with P and T. These are the geolite, prehenite, pumpelite, blue cyst, eclogite. In contrast, the sequence of faces encounter going down in the Iceland arc is geolite, prehenite, pumpelite, green cyst, amphibolite, gaunlites. Particularly, this is the relation of your metamorphic phases with the relation to plate tectonic. Now let us see the paired metamorphic belt. The Maya Shiro, he found the low grade metamorphic phases as well as side by side the high grade metamorphic phases in the same reason particularly and he coined the terms pair metamorphic belt. Now look at on the screen particularly the map of the that area and easily we can see the mineral assemblages along with phases of two contrast pressure and as per the diagram the increase in metamorphic grade from geolite, prehenite, pumpelite, blue cyst, eclogite take place along the deep of the subduction zone because this is where the isotherms are blow down. And particularly if we see the subduction zone should be in direction of increasing metamorphic grade. And as per the pair metamorphic there is a polarity to the metamorphic phases in a subduction zone that is increased in metamorphic grade. And if suppose we see these are the pumpelite and lawsonite blue cyst phases. So normally the very high pressure phases along with low pressure phases. So this was the concept particularly for pair metamorphic belt. Now see the map on the screen and observe the mineral assemblages particularly with the reference to low pressure temperature and high pressure and temperature metamorphic phases particularly the presence of andalusite selenite and selenite kyanite phases. So these are the two different phases one is your low pressure phases side by side in the association of your high pressure phases that is your based on kyanite and selenite. And particularly these two phases is normally the Maya Siro named as a pair metamorphic belt. The few questions are normally asked in different examinations like in BSc, MSc or MTech. 
even in GSI and NET examinations. And these are the questions. The paired metamorphic belts, ISO reaction guard, Barovian type of metamorphism, Abukama type of metamorphism, Beric type of metamorphism, metamorphic phases, classification, phases series, something like. These are the very common and important questions normally asked. And today we have discussed in details particularly about the metamorphic phases series, paired metamorphic belts, metamorphic phases with relation to plate tectonic, how the plate tectonic and metamorphic relations are there, iso reaction guard based on reactions particularly See for the example, if the muscovite and quartz give rise to silimonite plus mus orthoclase plus water vapor, there will be a line joining these two assemblages, reactant as well as product. And on that line, we can observe all the assemblages right from muscovite, quartz, orthoclase, silimonite, water vapor. And this line is known as ISO reaction guard. Now it's time to say goodbye to all of you. Thank you very much.